What gets harder as you age? Forcing myself to go out for fun. Since I could, you know, just stay home where it's warm, with the yoga pants and my pets and the Netflix, all weekend. I'm 19 and I'm already like that 75% of the time. I am gonna be a really boring 30 year old. Warming up. At 50, I can still skateboard and ride wheelies on my bike and stuff, but if I don't stretch, I'm going to frick something up. In the morning, I have to get the blood moving around and not just jump out of bed. Again, something is going to get pulled if I just run to the kitchen like a 12 year old. Grunting happens. I don't know what it is, but every time I change a major body position I have to grunt. Bending over, seated to standing, reach something high, grunt grunt grunt. Bending over to pick something up here r g g h h h h h h h h h h Standing back up from a squatting position h h h h g g g g r r u e. Sleeping through the night without needing to pee. I usually wake up around 4 5 am for a pee. And sometimes like 1 am if I've had a lot of water that day. I remember the days when I could sleep for a solid 12 hours and wake up without even the faintest need to urinate. I could sleep for a solid 12 hours and wake up without even the faintest need to urinate. I'm a 26 year old guy and have never been able to do this. I could sleep through the night without needing to pee. But after 9 plus hours, I'll have to pee first thing when I wake up. Guaranteed. I'm screwed when I get older. Sleeping. I tried to sleep in like I used to as a kid. My back pain was so bad I was visiting a chiropractor in my dream. I am 50, half a century for me, wow, and the thing that has gotten harder is all the people and pets I knew who have died, you start to hear of people from high school who died, I lost friends during the AIDS crisis, you start to feel as if you've seen so much and it starts to feel overwhelmingly sad, that's coming home from Vietnam, my first experience with war, Friends who were alive but had essentially lost themselves to drug and alcohol addiction. Remembering getting married and thinking I'd grow old with that person but of course I had no idea what I was doing. At this age, 50, is when you start to contemplate your own mortality and the odd feeling you get. Thinking of the world marching on without you and feeling so bad that at some point you will abandon your children to this crazy world without your guidance when they need it. When it starts to really get me down I think of all I have seen. I couldn't have imagined cell phones when I was young, or computers or even call waiting and voicemail, email, none of it. I am so happy as well to see gay people getting married. I try to focus on the positive. Anyway, I don't know if even one person will read this but I feel better for having typed it out. I read this, and what resonated with me is that I too shudder to think of a day when my daughter will need me and I won't be there anymore. Time. I've really been noticing it the past few years how fast time passes. Months pass like weeks now. It's really unsettling and makes me angry. When I was in my teens and 20s it seemed like I had plenty of time for everything. But now that I'm edging into my mid 30s everything takes so much longer. And time goes so much faster. Work eats up time. Errands eat up time. Commuting eats up time. And then there's so little time for other things. And by then I am usually exhausted. Frick this crap. Holy crap. My first reddit gold. D. D. D thank you for your kindness. Dealing with tragedy. When you're young. You can just melt the frick down and deal with it any way you need to. When you get older. People depend on you. Need you to keep them fed. Clothed. Housed and even depend on you for emotional support. You can't afford to melt down anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. So there are advantages to being completely and utterly alone. D. Sigh. Walking upstairs. After 22 years of fixing helicopters and having to bend down to work, my knees aren't what they used to be. They crack, grind, and hurt with every step. To add to this, my back isn't much better. Take care of yourselves ladies and gentlemen. My husband is a caterpillar mechanic. His hands don't work any longer from gripping tools. He's not even in his 40s yet. It makes me sad when he can't even hold our son's hand. I think it's harder to get excited about the future. As I get older I know there is less and less potential in store for me. When I was 16, the sky was the limit. Now, I'm not going to be a billionaire. I'm not going to have 4 or 5 kids. I'm not going to become fluent in French. 
there's a finite amount of time left, and as you become cognizant of that, your expectations for what you can accomplish with that time becomes more and more realistic. 1. Realizations like this is the last car I will buy and drive in my lifetime. 2. Regretting opportunities such as I will never visit that place again. 3. Comparing what your kids are doing at this age to what you did at that age and hoping they get more out of their time. 4. Having a day when nothing hurts or thinking you can still do without hurting something. 5. Realizing your parents rely more and more on you whereas it used to be you relying on them for everything. 6. Watching your friends or family going through the same mistakes you've made and learned from already and being helpless. You know they won't heed warnings. Giving a shitty about stupid problems. As you get older, you bury friends, family, lovers, you lose sleep raising children, you struggle with finances and big decisions. So when people complain about missing a bus, or having a stuffy nose or it being too humid or any other of the million billion idiotic things people complain about, it just rolls over you. Conversely, real problems, a colleague being diagnosed with bone cancer, hurt so much more. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. In a single year, I lost my wife, she cheated and left me, my house, my car, and two people to suicide. That was roughly 10 years ago. Since then, average everyday problems just don't exist for me. Every single frick I have ever had, or will ever have, was paid into that one year. So you go through life growing up, thinking that your elders just don't get it. Man you understand how the world really works. You know the trends, you get it, you are young, limber, and beautiful, the future is yours to command. Then it happens, is that you don't see it coming because it happens so slowly and subtly. You wake up one day and you start to dislike entertainment that is out today. You don't get the music or the cartoons. You think it is funny to shake your first and shout you dang kids in a funny manner. Another day you'll wake up and that hangover doesn't go away as quickly as it used to. When you hurt yourself it takes a few extra days to feel better. The final phase for me was when icons and family members I grew up looking up to passed away. You rage and rage against the aging. It just isn't fair. You're smarter than you were when you were younger. You should get to have all that fun now. When you have sense and money to fully take advantage of your youthful energy. TL. DR. Accepting the aging process, you enjoy growing up as a kid, and then somewhere along the line you start hating it and wishing to be younger again. Dang, you're scaring me with that middle age stuff. The realization that everything you see on TV, all the ads, marketing, is no longer aimed at you. Those commercials you used to watch when you were a kid, or a teenager, they were geared towards you. The older married people in the commercials looked old to you at one point. But now, they look so young. I used to watch hockey all the time and think the players all look like men. But now, you look at them and they all seem like boys. And the thing is, you don't recall when that switch happened. You just notice it. You realize you're no longer at the start of the arch, or in the middle. But you're past the arch, and now you can look back. It's a very strange feeling, and I find it rather hard. I'm not really old by any measure, but it's a surreal feeling when you look at the trends, and the media, and you're no longer part of the target audience. I feel you on the athletes thing. I was shocked when I found out the Olympic athletes I used to imagine competing with are in most cases young enough to be my children. If it makes you feel better advertising execs still value you. They want you to think if I buy and use this product I can reclaim my youth. Watching people younger than you be way more successful than you have become in shorter time. I used to say yeah Bill Gates is doing pretty well, but he had a 35 year head start. Then it became yeah, Mark Zuckerberg is doing pretty well, but he had a 6 year head start, now it's like, Taylor Swift is worth 150 million dollars, foo who ask me what am I doing. This will likely only get worse, and yes. I did just use money in this example, but use anything else you care about, starting a family, traveling the world, whatever and it gets harder to realize you are probably a regular person. Gosh, that's a toxic way of thinking, man. Don't let others accomplishments compare to yours. Set your own arbitrary goals and strive to achieve those. These people you've noted have been very fortunate but for every one of them is literally a million others living what they would consider a happy life. If you constantly compare what you do to the 1%, 
Frankly, you'll burn yourself out. Watching my parents get old, and in my mom's case, pass away, never even came to my mind at 41 years old I would be at her funeral when she was only 67. The pain is unfathomable. To find fun, when you're younger everything seems to be fun, as you age barely anything seems to be, you become harder to entertain I guess. Life in general, like, when I was at school, my mum would say, you're going to school, enjoy it, these are the best days of your life, I was like, this be be crazy, I hate school, now I'm sat here, in my debt, with my okayish but not very stimulating job, and a potential alcohol problem just around the corner thinking, it'd give anything to be back at school. This is so true, I will be 60 years old this year and your words are pretty deep for me. Well, everything that you used to do easily now becomes more difficult. You have to keep working at it and not give up and sit in the chair all the time because that's the easiest thing to do. At some point, you realize, you will never climb MT Everest. You will never be an athlete at the Olympics Super Bowl NBA Championship PGA Golf Tournament. So a certain kind of reality sets in. In a way, kids are wrongly taught that they can do anything because obviously, you can't. But when you get through all that and begin to focus on what you really want to do and love to do, then life falls into place for you. Remember that thing do what you love. The money will follow I wish more young people could learn and do that before being weighted down with family obligations and doing a job they don't like. Physically, things get more difficult but I know of guys in their 40s and 50s who were not runners as young people but trained and have run multiple marathons. So don't start thinking life is over. One thing that becomes easier, telling the truth. As you mature, you realize that you don't have to make up a bunch of bulls excuses for stuff and just tell the truth. Sorry, I'm not going out with you guys because I just don't want to. Sorry I'm late to work today. Now that you ask, I really don't care for the way you cook the chicken but I know you were trying out something new. Of course the one time you are always facing a grenade. How do you like my hair this way or do I look like I've lost weight scary? Putting on socks. I'm fortunate that I can still do it whilst balancing on one leg without support. But I dread the day I have to admit old age and resort to sitting to place my socks on my feet. I'm in my 20s and I need to sit to put on my socks. Balancing sucks. Enjoy every standing sock day you have. Facing the fact that everything you promised yourself you wouldn't do as you get older is becoming reality. A case in point, I really can't listen to modern music. I'll be forever stuck listening to 90s music. I'm 31. Getting some freaking peace and quiet while I watch Girls Gone Wild. It's always dad I wanna watch TV. Or dad I need to get to school and be fucking leave the fucking ball. In my 40s, getting the wife to have sex with me, getting anyone to have sex with, smiling innocently at a beautiful woman in her 20s who gives you the holy freak your creep look in return, realizing the wrinkles will not go away but the hair will, realizing this freaking a hair will not stop growing, realizing what I finally want to do in life but now I am competing with people, almost half my age. Having another day pass in the blink of an eye. I don't have the time to learn but I want to learn everything. Giving a crap. So many people demanding sympathy for problems that are either of their own creation. Or within their power to fix. Getting out of bed. Some days it hurts much more than others. For context. I have two bad shoulders. Bad knees. A bulging disc in my neck. And beginning to get arthritis in both of my hands. Looking back in time and thinking hey that event happened like 2 years ago when in reality it was 7 or perhaps 10. Frick, time flies by. Seeing your parents go from independent adults who did things for you to needing constant care because they can't do anything for themselves. Being able to read the fine print, and it's all fine print. Command plus 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 on most websites even with my reading glasses. Also harder. Finding one of the 75 pairs of reading glasses you have stashed around the house. Dang. Reading all these comments makes me sad and pee. I have this problem. I can't do that. I've realized this, etc. Preach mode. On. Yes. It is tough. Life is tough. You've probably realized that as soon as you got out of school and real life punched you in the face. What we all share. 
Seen on the comments are complaints about change. Some fear change more than others and that's okay. My health got worse I do not look as young anymore I hate people etc. Trust me, my mum complains too. She's growing old and it is sad to see that she isn't as strong as she used to be. But let me give you, whoever is reading this, a tip. Life isn't as pretty as you thought it would be. You'll always have something to complain about. Have you ever looked up to the stars and realized how dang small we are? That's it. You are small. You are less than a speck of dust in this universe. No one gives a crap about your complaints because they are not unique that way. Everyone will eventually experience the same or similar crap you're going through. But what you need to sow is to, cliche warning now, is to make the most of what you've got in your hands. Accept your crap but be freaking thankful for everything that you have. Treat yourself every once in a while with whatever that is slightly pleasuring. Going to the movies. Buy freaking good smelling soap and bathe in it. Go lie on the grass snow ground whatever. Dance stupidly to music. Make ugly butt faces in the mirror and just stop give a frick about your life and just enjoy the moment. Stop give a frick about what people think about you. Who the frick are they to affect your life? There is so much negative stuff we have to live with. If you have the potential to be this negative then you have the same potential to be just as positive. Accept that you are growing old. We all freaking do. We're all gonna die. That is our purpose on earth. So stop giving so many fricks and just treat yourself good. Cause in the end it's all about you. I wrote too much. Sorry. Thanks to anyone who read this. Scoring weed. Foster those connections while you are young. It's awkward as frick hanging around the mall looking for the kid with dreadlocks when you are 47. Making friends. Had a big circle of friends in high school. A smaller group of friends in college. After graduation things changed. Past 5 years I haven't been around anyone else except my own depression and dealing with mortality. It gets harder to make friends. As you age, more and more people have paired off with mates and then get involved in their busy lives. I'm 42 and it's hard to find another man who is around my age and with similar interests who isn't just completely busy with work and family. It's sad really. The Golden Years by Dr. Seuss. I cannot see. I cannot pee. I cannot chew. I cannot screw. Oh my god. What can I do? My memory shrinks. My hearing stinks. No sense of smell. I look like heck. My mood is bad. Can you tell? My body is drooping. Have trouble pooping. The golden years. Have come at last. The golden years. Can kiss my butt. I see a lot of dong comments here and just thought I'd relate the chat I had with my doctor recently. I went in for my annual physical and when everything was done he asked if I had any questions. So I told him about how when I was 20, I could hardly bend my bone or a fraction of an inch. Then when I was 40, I could bend it a fair bit. And now that I'm 60, I can bend it quite a lot. And he says, yeah, that's not unusual. So what's your question? And I replied, so doc. How much stronger do you think I'm going to get in the next 20 years? If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Buy for now.